Hey guys, wanted to shoot this quick video and just something that's been on my mind and I wanted to share it with you guys because I think, you know, understanding this, it can bring life or death. If you don't understand it, it'll produce death. If you understand it, it'll produce life. And it's about the two, the two trees that were in the Garden of Eden. You know, when, when God created Adam and Eve, he told them you can eat from, from everything, uh, just don't just don't eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And when they ate from from that tree, once they got deceived, death came. You know, sin came into the world. That was the big fall. And as soon as they ate it, shame, guilt, and condemnation came in. So it's the same way in our lives. We have a we have a a, a choice to eat from either tree. We can eat from the tree of life, which is Christ. Or we can eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. So the question is, what tree are you eating from? When you listen to a preacher, when you listen to a sermon, what is coming into your your heart? Is it life, or is it bring is it bringing the opposite? Um, you know, is is your heart being filled with guilt, shame, and condemnation, or are you having victory? Are you leaving? the service are you leaving are you starting a day with life or is it another day where you have to be in the cycle of death and sin where you can't get out of you know jesus doesn't just want you into heaven he wants to save you from your sins he wants to give you life and a life more abundantly it says the enemy the enemy comes to kill steal and destroy but jesus came to give abundant life and you know, when we read the Word of God, we can either extract life from it, we can bring the words to life, or we can read it in a way where it's the knowledge of good and evil. Can't do this, can't do that, can't do this. So we're in this constant cycle that we can never get out of. But we're, we're supposed to read Scripture in a way that it brings life. So it's, you know, when, when, you, when you speak with someone, are you edified? Are you built up? Or are you, again, put back into that, that shame and that guilt? So just, just you know, ask the Lord, you know, and ask him what tree you're eating from. He doesn't want you to eat from the wrong tree. He wants you to come to him and receive life from him. In him, this is where we'll find the tree of life. This is where we'll find the resources, the nutrients we need to actually live in a way where we have victory. Jesus doesn't want us to live in slavery to sin, to live in slavery to man, to live in slavery to the systems of this world. His blood that he shed on the cross is much powerful than we can imagine. And just by going back to the cross and looking what he did for you and me, we can come out out of this cycle, this vicious cycle of death. So the question is, what tree are you eating from today? When you speak with people, or just just look look past the seven days, what was what was your life filled with? Was it arguments, debates, and discussions about scriptures, or did those scriptures bring life and fruit? We're called to go out and make fruit and bear fruit and make disciples. And if we're ourselves are eating from the wrong tree, if we don't ha have the life of God on the inside of us, we cannot give life to others. We have to receive from Him. And then we can give that to other people. But I see so many Christians, they're stuck always studying, but never actually doing it. Jesus just didn't call us to study and read. He calls us to extract life from him and then give that to other people. That is the question I want to set on your mind today. What tree are you eating from? See you soon. Bye-bye.